trick is to be cryptic and not to nervously uh, prattle on. Be inquisitive and keep the conversation on them. Well, what if they ask me about something personal? Be vague and shift the conversation back to them. They're just asking to be courteous. They don't really care. I should probably serenade them with one of my elegies. Uh, look, this is a great opportunity for us. You two need to start showing some dedication and start taking this seriously. You're right. What are their names? How would I know? I only met one of them when I was at the park. And what was her name? What is this, an interrogation? We have three girls coming over tonight. That's what's important. They're pretty tardy. Did you think they're going to show up? After meeting me, there's no way they're not coming. Uh, so, all right, Dexter, ask questions. And Luke, no poems lamenting the dead and no musical interludes. It's probably for the better. The poignancy of my acoustic genius would torment them for years. Have you actually learned to play any of your instruments yet, or do they still sound like cacophonies? I don't want to adulterate my raw talents by following the conventions of music. Wait, Brian, how do we decide who gets who? The most comely one will belong to me, and you can have the uh, homeliest one. I'll take anyone. Hey, Brian. Hey, you? Who's your friend? Oh, uh, this is Katie. Oh, where's the other one? Giant supermarket. Oh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> is that a complication? Of course not. No, it's all good. We'll have a great time. Come on in. Good luck, guys. So this is Luke. And the one cowering in the corner is Dexter. I'm not cowering, per se. <laughs> It's nice to make your acquaintance. I'm Katie. And I'm Natalie. Natalie, knew that. What? Uh, nothing. I'm Brian. <laughs> Let's have a seat. <laughs> so, sorry. Sorry. So what do you, you um? And are you... So what do you do for a living? Nothing. Nearly as engrossing as what you do for a living. Huh. You know, I should let you know in advance that despite my physiognomy, I don't cut myself. <laughs> so is the other one in the foyer? <clears throat> other what? One? Jen's not coming. So it's just the two of you then? That's right. I So just to... Clarify, there's just two of you. Yeah. Luke! <laughs> Three of us. Luke, would you mind if I have a quick word with you in the hallway for a second? Sure. All right. Ladies, if you'd just please excuse us, we're just gonna have a brief hiatus. I should probably accompany them. You're just gonna leave us here, alone. Well, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, put a be cool slip past your radar. If you keep reiterating that there's only two of these girls, they're gonna think we're creeps and perverts. What are we supposed to do, huh? We do have a quandary on our hands. We can't keep the girls waiting, so we're gonna have to be expeditious about this. How would you feel about sitting this one out? Why do I have to forego? Because you haven't talked with either of them yet. I'm yeah. accumulating information that I plan to parlay into a form of conversation when the time is right. You can always play them a song and tell them I don't get it. That'll make sure no one's interested in you. That's it! You have marked my art for the last time. I'm gonna get one of these girls by using the one weapon in my arsenal that neither of you have. What's that? Angst. Okay. Looks like you and I are now competitors. <laughs> I'm so sorry, dude. I don't think for one second I can't use my acute intellect against you. What can you contribute that I can't? Name one of the girls. You're on. And so that's when I told him to blog off and skateboard at home. Your high school anecdotes keeping them entertained. Actually, Dexter, this transpired last week. Since you were skateboarding, it seemed fair to hypothesize this happened at least Five years ago? The point of the story is that I said blog off, which is ingenious. That's about as hip and modish as a pregnant teenage girl. Brian, why don't you tell them about the time that you kidnapped your ex-girlfriend's puppy until she returned all the presents that you got her? That's deplorable! Okay, you can make anything sound horrible when you put a negative spin on it. There were mitigating circumstances. But still abominable. I'm gonna go get a drink. I'll show you where the kitchen is. 
I can see it. It's right there, in front of us. Yes, but I'll get you a glass. They're right there on the shelf. Nobody likes a dissentient guest, can you? So, are there going to be a myriad of people here tonight? Well, this is Brian's party, so the amount of people here is a reasonable way to assess his popularity. Actually, Dexter, I just prefer more intimate atmosphere. Oh. Well, I kind of thought there was going to be a party. I mean, you know, nothing really crazy, but something a little more jovial. Ha! Um, would you like a drink? I don't even want to think of what nightmares would spew from my cerebrum were I to succumb to Captain Morgan's delicious taint. I'm just having juice. Well, in that case, I'll have a raspberry ginger ale. So, what's your profession? I don't really partake in the parlor game that the world calls work. I couldn't stand to be one of the docile sheep being herded through the public transport system, only to arrive at my mindless nine-to-five job, remaining perfectly complacent, all the while becoming bereft of any personality or individuality, all because Big Brother wants to keep tabs on you. You went through a series of personality traits in that invective. You know, you should really sit down and decide which archetype you want to portray and then stick to it. Because once you have a better understanding of which cliché you're pretending to be, you can fake it a lot better. So what do you do, Dexter? He's unemployed. Leading a slothful existence. Well, I can empathize with that. I mean, searching for the right job can be pretty enervating. And we all know how hard it is to start a career this soon out of school. I mean, I've been out for a couple years myself, and I haven't had any luck at all finding anything that relates to my vocation. Uh. I mean, you should be really proud you managed to do it, Brian. Yes, Brian, you should be so proud. Well, with a little determination and diligence, anybody can find a job in their field. That's really commendable. <laughs> so what did you major in? Uh, well, I'm naturally athletic and I've always aspired to write, so I got a double major in journalism and outdoor recreation. Okay, yeah. and you're currently working in which field? Oh, it's sort of like a fusion of the two. Right, so like, does that mean you um, write for an outdoor magazine or you're a biographer for adventures <laughs> yeah. or something? Yeah, or something. <laughs> Don't be modest, Brian. He hands out the Free City Newsletter at the park down the street. He's practically a philanthropist. Oh, well, it's, it's a start. <laughs> it's a... Novice paying position with the possibility of growth. With a little fortitude, you could be handing out those flyers outside the subway by Christmas. I'm gonna go grab something to imbibe as well. Oh. This is such a waste of time. I could totally be blogging right now. Okay, look, play to win. Time tag generic. A fellow Epicurean, are you? I'm sorry? No need to apologize for taking part in my delectable drink. That's a very weird thing to say. I really believe in the importance of academia, which is why when I finish my current major, I plan to continue on through to grad school until I procure my first master's. That's great, but what would you say is the most important characteristic in a male? A strong, healthy physical shell, or a crippling antisocial behavior in an effeminate body? That's totally unrelated to anything we've been talking about. No, it's totally unrelated to anything you've been talking about. It's stunningly congruous with our train of thought. She's right. We should keep discussing edification. Thank you. So, in your opinion, is it more important for somebody to pursue a diverse variety of courses and topics they're unfamiliar with in order to broaden their intellect, or for someone to say, I don't know, Take the most obtuse credits they can in order to breeze their way to a double major? <sighs> so, which frivolous mass market consumer activities designed to foster overspending on corporate accessories do you partake in? I'm assuming there was a question hidden in that commentary. Yes, what are your hobbies? Oh, real people speak. Much better. I enjoy going out dancing a lot with my girlfriends, and I also enjoy practicing yoga so I can further improve my flexibility. Oh, yeah.